Kid Loyfield was at the time being questioned on the corridors of the High Court, where he went to represent Chicom in a court matter filed against it to prevent house-to-house -house registration. When asked if the previous voters list could be used in a free and fair elections, Loyfield had this to say. The list at, at 3rd of April was the list that was used for our election, for registration, etc. Bloat is not a word I'll affix can to it. So then can the list, if, if refreshed, so to speak, be used to conduct a free and fair election? That's correct. It always has and always will. The list as at 30th of April, if he claims an objection exercise is to be used, then that will form the basis of a preliminary list for a claims and objections to be held. Claims and objections exercise to be held. Furthermore, Lowenfield said that he never advised President David Granger that the voters list was bloated with 200,000 names and that corroboration of this number has yet to be done. The governing side has repeatedly said that the existence of 200,000 extra names necessitated house-to-house -house registration. No less of a person but the president has said there are 200 names, 200,000 names that should not be on the list. On, on what basis is he saying that? Um, have you given him any information to that? I, I, I have not. I have not engaged His Excellency on, on the numbers game and I cannot pronounce on that. With Do you have an average of how many persons? It's speculative. I will want to do an exercise to determine that amount. The parliamentary opposition has long argued that house-to-house -house registration is unnecessary as a simple claims and objections period can be done to allow persons who are not registered to get registered. Gerald Bryan, The Evening News.